Hello and welcome to the course about PowerShell security best practices. Now let's take a look at what this course is all about. This course is divided into four sections. First of all, in section called Introduction to PowerShell, we're gonna go through some basics of PowerShell to learn basic things about why there is a need for PowerShell and what exactly PowerShell is. Following that, you will become familiar with the available PowerShell tools and most frequently used commandlets. On top of that, you will see how to use help system in PowerShell. Next, in second section named PowerShell Remote Server Management, we are going to extend basic PowerShell commandlet knowledge with some PowerShell commandlets for remote server management and appropriate remote tasks to perform. You will also learn about script examination using PowerShell Script Analyzer and how to debug a script is also going to be explained in this section. In next section of this course, section 3, which is named Remote Server Security Practices, we will talk about important features like PowerShell desired state configuration and PowerShell just enough administration. And on top of that, you will become familiar with the administration of Active Directory with PowerShell and multi-threading in PowerShell. And in last section of this course, section 4, named PowerShell Logging and Advanced Features, we will quickly explain group policy editing in PowerShell and how to create your own commandlet in PowerShell. You will also become familiar with error handling, logging, auditing and recording in PowerShell. When we talk about prerequisites for following this course, there is nothing special. All you need is internet connection and browser. And of course, you certainly need some basic IT knowledge, especially about the Windows environment and Active Directory concepts to be able to follow contents of this course. Now we're done with the introduction and let's start with this course.